Now, let's move away from gear. What are you recording? Singers are flesh and blood, as I mentioned earlier. And if you are producing yourself as a singer, you need to get into character and forget the world outside the song. And no matter what song, genre or mood, learn the lyrics. I always have the artists learn the lyrics by heart so that they can close their eyes and tell me the story. To find the right tone and mood of a performance is more important than any mic choice you make. You're basically an actor selling me your story, so learn the lyrics. If you're unsure how to approach the song, try reading the lyrics straight out to get a feel for the story and intonation before you start singing. This can do wonders. Making the listener believe what you say is one of the most important things you can do as a performer. You also have to choose the right key for the song. A half step up or down can do miracles. Every singer has a spot where the voice sounds the best. Then there is the breaking point that some singers have between full voice and head voice. This should be planned for so that the singer can do the switch and sound as good as possible. To find the key of the song, I go to the highest part of the song and have the singer try it. Then I pitch shift the whole background up and down to find where the vocals sound the best. Also, if it's right for the song, try having the singer sing the highest part in head voice if the lower parts of the song suffer from this key change. Now I'm going to show you how to pitch shift the background. In this case I have a stereo file with the instrumental background and the quickest way is to just go up here to the region pop-up menu where you can see transpose. You can gra just grab a hold of this and if I wanted to take this song up a half a note uh, I would just do plus one and play it. Or plus three, let's check that out. And we're down two steps. It's not going to sound great, the music, but it's going to be good enough for you to, to do vocals on. And we're only focusing on getting the best ever vocal takes right now. Another way to do this, if you have a lot of tracks that you want to uh, pitch shift at the same time, is to create a group track or a track stack, as it's called in Logic. You just go up to the track menu and you go to create track stack and you choose the summing track, which will then sum all the audio through this auxiliary uh, channel it will create. And you create that, all of a sudden you have this summing track on top. And on this track, you can then instantiate a pitch plugin which you will find under pitch and you can go to pitch shifter that plugin looks like this uh, make sure the mix is set to 100 otherwise you're just pitch shifting a part of the signal so 100 and then you control the semitones right here so you can do the same thing you can play uh you can play the track i'm just gonna i just uh, did some copies of that just to to show you but i'm just now playing the instrumental and now i can pitch shift this with this plugin on. So if you have to, then transpose the arrangement around the vocals. I don't care if the guitar player has to replay some guitars using a capo or change some MIDI stuff around. The vocals are the most important thing most of the time. Next thing after key is to check so that the singer is breathing correctly between the phrases. This is something that can make a big difference and that I end up doing quite a lot. If the lyrics are dense and there are a lot of words, make small notes in the lyrics when it's good to breathe. Now we're ready to start recording. Check out the next video for that. Cheers.